everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making 10 cards using the My Monthly Hero April 2017 kit. And this kit is so fun. Very girly, girly kit and perfect for Mother's Day. We're going to jump in with card number one. And for the first card, I'm taking a white piece of cardstock. And then I grab the little itty bitty hanger that was in the stamp set. And I want to do a kind of like a collage, a, a collage border around this cardstock. So I'm using the Midnight Ink that came with the kit. And then I am grabbing, there's an itty bitty bow. And I think I'm going to use the light teal and just go around that. Kind of twisting and turning my block as I go. Lovely. And then there's some itty bitty sunglasses. So I thought I would add some of this lavender with the sunglasses. And I was very happy with the way this turned out. It turned out very cute. Very beautiful colors. Okay, now we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our sentiment. No, actually, you know, let's, let's, let's do our dress. So I'm going to grab the dress. I put that in the mini misty here. And I am going to be using my alcohol marker, so I am using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Ink that up really good. And for a nice impression, I'm just going over it one more time. Lovely. I love this dress. The, you know, when I see this stamp set, you know, I had um, went out. These are new markers for me, and they're from. They're called Nouveau Collection. No, Nouveau Creative Pen Collection. And they come three in a set, and they're pretty reasonable priced. So I thought I'd give them a try. You know, I've only used the ones that I've had as far as alcohol markers go. And so I have really nothing to comp compare it to. So I thought I'd buy a few of these and see how these work out for me. And so far, I really like them. I like the way they blend. One thing I did notice is the colors um, are not as vibrant is the ones I have but um, they're very smooth I, I, I'm very happy with them so I'll give these out a try for this series here now I made my beautiful little gold dress and of course it always comes with coordinating dies which I love so we're gonna cut that out using the Big Shot Lovely. Now let's add some shimmer. I have a jelly roll pen and the lines that it gives with um, with the silver shimmer are beautiful. So I thought it'd be perfect for details on this dress. So I'm just going around it and I'm adding some polka dots to the base of the dress and I think it turned out beautiful. Now we have our little princess dress done. Now I'm powdering up my panel here and I went out I did I went out and bought one of those pillow ones and I love it it's a little bit messy but I love it haven't had no problems with my embossing powder here I'm going to take some VersaFine and I'm taking the polka dot address and I just stamped sporadically all over my my white card base and then I used some um, jet black embossing powder from Nouveau and I heat set that actually no I didn't do that I used VersaFine and then I used clear embossing powder and then I heat set it so when, you, when, when I do that it seems to give a more crisper image which I like and now I'm going to stamp my sentiment and for this sentiment I'm gonna, I chose you are one of a kind Oopsie. 
and I'm using again some VersaFine with that and then I'm gonna um, use some Nouveau Clear embossing powder and then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set that. You can use black embossing powder. It the effect is almost the same, but I think the image is crisper when you go over it with the clear. So now I have that done, I'm going to clean up my my panel here, and I'm thinking it's just a little too big. I wanted the hangers to stand out a little bit more in the background. So I'm going to take a rectangle die, and I'm going to run that through and make my panel a little bit smaller. and I think this is working out much better. The paper that I use for this is a uh, Strathmore Bristol and um, I knew I wanted to do a little bit of shading so this is a smoother paper for shading. And I'm just going going around it just adding a little bit of color and then on the edges I'm using the Midnight just to kind of bring it all in. And I really love the way this turned out. I think it turned out very pretty. I wanted the yellow dress to, just to pop out so adding that the dark shading in the back really helped. I'm gonna pop up the princess dress with some foam tape. Set that there in the middle and I'm thinking you know what this kit came with these adorable little hangers so I took one of the silver one and I thought it would be cute for the dress to be hanging on a hanger. So I'm using a glue dot to secure the hanger down. And it was easy to lift up because the panel was still a little bit wet, which is a good thing. Um, and I just lowered it a little bit and added another glue dot to secure it. I'm going to pop this up with some foam tape. And then I'm going to add that to our little hanger border paper here. And then I took a piece of the Tiffany Blue cardstock. I, I scored it and folded it in half to make a standard A2 size card. Adhered that. And here's a close up of card number one. Now for card number two, I took a piece of white, <coughs> uh, well this is actually the Bristol smooth cardstock. And I cut it down to make it a square. I believe it's three and a half by three and a half. And I'm going over it with the, the light teal ink. And then I have three pieces of fun foam that have adhesive backing. And I cut those down to a two and a half inch square. And I'm going to layer those on the back of that white piece of cardstock here. I layered three of them. And then I want to trim off the corners. Belly. And then I'm going to fold over the edges. Lovely. Let's just the edges were a little bit sharp, so I'm I'm grabbing my files. These are um precision files from Basic Gray and they're perfect for softening edges of paper. So any kind of file would actually work. I'm adding some double sided uh, tape to the back just to make sure it doesn't pop up and then I'm going over the edges that I had filed just to darken them a little bit to give it more dimension. And Now I'm using some shimmer, sparkle shimmer mist. I want to make my little package sparkle. My goal is to make a little present um, Tiffany's is a jewelry store, very famous in, in Manhattan. I think the first one was in Manhattan, but they're they're known for their their pretty little blue boxes. So I'm going to make a Tiffany box. It um, Tiffany's is a pretty famous jewelry store, and so I my theme for this card is to make a window front with jewelry in it. So I grabbed the die. This is the window die that came from the February kit. And I love this die. I ran it through the Big Shot and then I'm using my glue runner or a tape runner I should say. I always say glue runner. 
but I'm going to add a piece of acetate to the back secure that down and then I'm adding some strips of uh, foam tape and I doubled it up because I am going to make a shaker card and I really love the way this card turned out it turned out so pretty and it, it um, what I had in my mind it, it turned out better so now that I have that popped up here I'm taking my standard A2 size card base and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. For my sentiment, I'm going to stamp You Are Wonderful. I think this card would be really cute to give to anyone and it turned out so pretty. Everybody loves jewelry. So this is my jewelry card. When my girls saw this, they, they loved it. They wanted to make one too. And I'm using the grid line that's on the Mini Misty to line up the the UR because I was I wasn't having any good luck with that. <laughs> so I stamped that using some Versafine ink. Lovely. Now the kit came with some pearls, a string of pearls, and so inside my window, since it is a jewelry store, I'm going to add some pearls. And then I have some itty bitty sequins and these are from Pretty Pink Posh and they look like diamonds. They are so pretty. So I thought it'd be pretty behind this window. So I added the, the whole string of pearls and my little diamonds behind there. And then I'm adding some glue to the back of my Tiffany box. And I secured that to the window front and I think that turned out so cute very shimmery and shiny. I would love one of those little blue Tiffany boxes but I don't think it's gonna happen in my lifetime. Actually um, I had did a wedding cake and I had stacked three of those boxes on top of each other for the wedding cake and then for the little gift cakes I had made little individual ones and they, they turned out adorable love that. That's what this reminds me of too. Love making cakes too. <laughs> okay. How nice it is to do what you love. I'm blessed. But anyway, there is card number two, but I think it needed a little bit more and I, these are little paper clips from Tim Holtz and they have diamonds on the end and I thought it'd be perfect to put right underneath that bow. Here's a close up of card number two. Now for card number three, I have this paper pad. And this paper pad is from Prima. And I think it's called something, let's see. It's very soft and vintage kind of coloring. It's called something blue. And so I'm gonna make a tutu card. I know I, this reminds me of my girls when they were little. They ran around the house in the middle of winter. It could be snowing outside and they would be wearing their tutus. So I love this. I love little pink tutus. I'm using the Nouveau Creative Pen and I'm coloring it in with the pinks. Lovely just kind of blending it over. And then I'm taking my Wink of Stella shimmer pen and I'm going over my tutu. Lovely. I'm going to die cut that out with the coordinating die. And then since the lines on this are are bold, I decided to soften it with my white gel pen. I just adding a little bit of dots here and there and then going over the sleeves. I think it softened it a bit. Now I have an oval die and I cut out a piece of the pattern paper from that paper pad. And then there's a light pink um, polka dot paper. Using my rectangle die I cut that out. 
I'm going to add have this dress hanging on one of those cute little hangers. So I'm going to adding some glue dots to the back of them, which secure it very well. So, um, and then I'm going to pop up my little tutu with some foam tape. But before we secure that down for good, I want to add my sentiment. Love the way that looks. So we're going to pick that up. And for the sentiment on this card, I just wanted it to be simple, so I'm, I'm just adding graceful. Love that. Adding the tutu. And I think that turned out so pretty. Elegant. I like that. Now, since we are in the tutu theme, my mind was going, and I thought, you know what? I have this very, very thin score tape. And... I'm going to crisscross it across th this pink polka dot paper. Who say that fast ten times? Pink po polka dot paper. <laughs> but, um, and then I have some itty bitty ribbon. Well, here I, I got ink everywhere somehow. I don't know how I got ink everywhere. Um, anyway, I have this, it's the same width as the black ribbon that came in the, the kit, but this is white. So I'm I'm going to use that, but first I want to um, crisscross some tape across the front of this card. Lovely. And this is super strong double-sided tape, and I really like it. It's score tape. And then I'm going to just place my ribbon across those tapes, and then trim off the ends, and just crisscross it. So, um, my goal was to make like a ballet slipper, kind of a background, and I think it turned out adorable, and I was so happy with, with the way this turned out. Sometimes what I have, or what I see in my, my head doesn't actually pan out, so this one turned out pretty good, so I was happy with it. I just flipped those around the back, and then I'm taking the ribbon and doubling it up and tying a bow. Try it, try it again. <laughs> Trimming off some some ends here. And let's see how this is going to look. We're going to pop this up with some foam tape. And set that right there. And then using a glue dot, I'm going to secure my bow. And I just love the way that turned out. Turned out so cute. Now, in that pad of paper, there was some uh, pink and white. It's very soft pink um, stripe paper. And so I'm going to run that through using my rectangle die. And I have, again, the standard A2 size card base. I'm going to adhere that stripe paper to the front of my card. And then I'm taking my little ballerina panel adding some foam tape. I'm going to pop that up and secure that right to the center of our card. Lovely. And then just for a little bit more, I'm taking the Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are Decade Blue that came with a kit. And I wanted little um, light blue pearls all around my little tutu. So I'm just dotting it making little pearls around it. And I think that turned out lovely. And that's it. Here's a close-up of card number three. Okay, now for card number four, I took um, my circle dies and I cut out the largest one I had. And then <coughs> here's where we play paper dolls. I had no idea how to how to do this first, so I'm stamping the legs first. And then I'm taking the skirt. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm not really worried about the skirt going over the legs or anything because I'm going to cover it with another skirt. So I'm going to stamp the shirt. And then we need the face. I chose the face that had the long hair. Love that. 
and then let's see we need some arms so on another piece of paper I added the arms and I think she needs a purse so I stamped the little purse that came in the stamp set and lovely this little dress reminds me when my girls were little they wanted a princess dress so bad so I took them to a second hand store and you know they have all those prom dresses and wedding dresses a very reasonable price I let them pick out any prom dress or any wedding dress that they wanted and they picked out the brightest pinkest most glittery dress they could find they wanted to wear it to school <laughs> um, but they wore that just about un until it fit them we had to alter it of course but they love their little princess dresses but anyway here we go I, I colored in my skirt and then the purse and then um, added little buttons to the top piece of her shirt and then um, she's all colored in and I also what I did with the arms and the purse I added a piece of fun foam behind the cardstock and then I put the dies on top and ran it through that way when I punched them out they would already have um, dimensional adhesive on the back so it, if any intricate pieces like this I think it works out very well I'm gonna stamp my sentiment and it's this one says you're one of a kind lovely I want to add my girly girly skirt here take the backing off my shirt my purse and then I'm gonna add her little arms tuck them under her shirt and then she's gonna be swinging a purse here I think this turned out so adorable the one was kinda of smeared on the sentiment but I can work with that I took the black ribbon that came wrapped up with the kit and I made an itty bitty bow and then I glued it to her skirt with a glue dot just for dimension there. Now for our background I'm taking a piece of white cardstock and then I have this embossing folder and for this idea you guys can use any embossing folder you have. I think that the, the out, outcome turned out so pretty. So I'm going to run that through and I'm going to emboss that, that white piece of cardstock. And then I'm taking the midnight ink and very light handedly going over my embossed area and I'm just so happy with the way this turned out. I wanted a little bit more of um, interest, a little bit more color, so I took the lavender ink cube and I'm going over the little flowers that embossed and I love the way this turned out beautiful. I'm going to adhere that directly to our card base. Oops. Then I'm going to take our little circle panel here. I'm going to trim off the end here so it'll fit better because I really want that background to stand out. I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape. I'm going to adhere that and that is card number four. I think it turned out so pretty. Here's a close-up of card number four. And now for our final card for today. Tomorrow will be part two. For card number five, I have a white piece of cardstock and then with the Tiffany blue cardstock that came in the kit, I made a little bit of a border um, ar around that cardstock. <coughs> so now I'm stamping the dress and I'm using memento ink and I'm not really um, being particular on how it stamps you can see it's not a very crisp image because I'm gonna be die cutting another one of those dresses out and putting it on top so for the second dress I use VersaFine ink and it gave it a really nice crisp image which I which I liked now we need some shoes so I'm gonna stamp her shoes
And then I'm taking a piece of masking paper and I wanted her to have a hat, but I did notice that the, the little hat, the smaller hat that came with the stamp set didn't have a die for it. So I need to mask off the top of her head so um, I can add the, the hat without, um, without it overlapping. So I basically cut her hair off and I'm positioning her head and then sticking her hair on my card base and then I'm going to stamp her face and then I can remove that masking paper and then um, I'll be able to fit her hat right on top of her head without any lines which turned out good. That's a fun little hat. Looking back I know the stamp set had some glasses. I'm adding some feathers to her hat. I thought that would be so sweet. But I think um, if you were to add the her shaded sunglasses, I think it would have even been more cute. So I'm taking her gloves, her right glove and her left glove, and I'm, I'm stamping them with the VersaFine on the same um, paper that I stamped her dress because we're going to be die cutting these out. And then it, now I took the little poodle stamp and I'm stamping it three times, two on the paper and then one I'm going to die cut out so I added it to the top paper and then I added a little crown to those little pampered pooches and then I'm adding some bows to their tail just the ones that are on the the front panel here now I die cut those out and again I use some fun foam behind it when I ran it through my my big well, yeah my big shot because the pieces were so intricate and it, and it just saved me a lot of time so now I cut out my little poodle and then um, I'm trimming off the leash uh, you'll notice that the poodles on the card I trimmed off uh, or I masked off their leash as well so they don't have any leashes I'm coloring in the crown and the bows Fin and I did um, add a touch of gray to those little poodles I'm coloring her shoes and her hat. I'm using a blue and a pink, kind of using both colors here. Lovely. Shading in her her face. This has to be the most funnest stamp set. It's you, you could you can spend hours just kind of building scenes and and dresses. It's so fun. I'm removing the backing from the fun foam and the dress here and I'm adding it to my card panel and then I'm doing the same with the little gloved arms. Now this was tricky for me because I wanted to stick the arms close to basically her underarms but it, it didn't look, it looked like she had really short arms. I think these were made to be to be out a little bit and then here she looks like she's <laughs> needs a chiropractor but <laughs> I think I think I finally got it and then to make them flow right I took my skin tone color alcohol marker and then I colored it in and I was happy with the way this this looked okay now I have a piece of silver silver um, embroidery floss and this came in the February kit as well but you can use any kind of floss for this and I put that I threaded it through a needle because it would be easier for me to thread and then I'm adding some silver leashes to these little pampered pooches and then I'm so securing the back with some double sided tape And then I, before I adhere that last uh, poodle, I wanted to darken up her dress just a little bit. I wanted it to be a very regal black. And then I'm taking some VersaFine and I'm going to stamp. <clears throat> it's not really a sentiment, but it it it's. I think it it makes it goes with the card. How about that? So I'm stamping uh, glamorous 
and then I'm going to stamp grace or unique and then I'm going to stamp graceful love that I think it turned out very pretty and then now I'm going to take that last poodle I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape lovely I want it hanging off the bottom just the hair I'm just adjusting the foam you could see it when I, I put it down so sorry I'm out of camera view <laughs> okay I'm going to add the poodle here and then I'm going to grab all three of the twine or their embroidery floss rather and I'm just gathered it and then knotted it and then I trimmed off the end and then I'm going to take a glue dot and secure it to her hand I'm going to trim off the end a little bit and I'm going to fluff out the ends and I was very happy with the way this turned out it turned out adorable I'm going to add that to our Tiffany blue cardstock just added a little bit of a border behind it lovely and then I had with my rectangle die I had cut out a piece of the onyx shimmer cardstock and so I'm going to secure that to my card base here and then I'm going to add my front panel and that's card number five but we need some finishing touches of course so I'm taking my glossy accents and I'm going over her hat and the feathers and then I went over her shoes and then the little bows on the poodles and then the crown just for a little touch more of dimension and that's card number five here's a close-up please join me for part two of the My Monthly Hero Kit. I had so much fun and I have some more fun cards. So thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day.